Yo guys, Oscar, and welcome to the first round, or technically the first round, of the PSGL F4 season. Today we're going to be covering the pre-season race at Canada. It was it's more of a pre-season qualifying for me. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that, we'll, we'll get to that. But a new PSGL season, a new formula for me in Formula 4, and the pre-season race in Canada, I was feeling pretty confident, you know. I, I got second in Canada in F3 last season. And I, I did feel pretty confident going into this race. My weapon of choice for this season was the Red Bull. I thought it was a decent step up from the Renault from last season. I would have loved to see how it performed in the race. But the qualifying session went quite well. Provisional P1 on the Super Softs for about half a lap. I mean, it's, it's been a while since I've seen that pop up at least. So, you know, looking for the positives. It was then time to put my lap on the Ultra Soft tyre. This will be the tyre I was hoping to be starting on. And we go P6, so it was a very decent lap. Well, I could have found a few temps. It, you know what? It wasn't that decent. It, 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 it wasn't that. It, it was terrible. It was a semi-decent lap. There are a few temps to find, but P6 in my first qualifying session in F4. What more could you ask for? Actually, I could think of five, five more things I could have asked for. Now, as you could probably imagine, you know, new drivers, new grid, new league. I was really looking forward to this. I mean, P6 on the Ultrasoft tyre, very decent start, and you know, if I could keep it clean, keep just not get any penalties, I could technically be on for, well, definitely a podium uh, position, but maybe even a win. I mean, it's been a while since I've said that, but we were in serious contention for the win, I believe. So as I was just double checking everything on my setup, making sure it's all good, making some slight adjustments to help with tyre wear, you know, I was thinking, how am I going to celebrate when I win this race? I mean, even if I get onto the podium, how am I going to celebrate? And as we get the countdown to the formation lap, I was thinking, why the fuck have I just been kicked from the lobby? But you know, it wasn't a big deal, you know, just going to the friends list, join the session back up again, you know, ready up, get back in our car. I mean, it's only the formation lap, so our car should be running around. We should be able to join it before the race start, and there should be, there, there should be no trouble there at all. That You know, there should be... No, no problem. I mean, Copemax has put in the the feature to join back, um, join back and take control of your car again. So there's no reason why it wouldn't work, right? No, oh, my uh, my car's gone. Great. That's that's really really great. So that was a summary of what happened in my preseason qualifying. I'm not going to call it a preseason race because I didn't actually do the race. I mean, just just imagine this race as Imagine it as a pre-season race for Red Bull in 2015, you know, they started off, they, I mean the car wouldn't start, they didn't get a chance to do many laps and they didn't get much practice in before the season and it actually turns out that, wait 2015, oh crap they did terrible then, 